Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Lou Gehrig, Hank Aaron, Mickey Mantle, Al Kaline, Carl Yastrzemski, Pete Rose, Barry Bonds, Cal Ripken, and a handful more are all considered to be the greatest hitters in baseball's celebrated history. But this list would not be complete without one name in particular, Tommy Santa Santarelli. In the middle of his 19th and recently announced final season, Tommy has been named to 11 all-star teams, broken dozens of records, and seems destined for Cooperstown. That is, if his ego doesn't get in the way. From humble beginnings, Tommy Santarelli and his mother, Sarah, moved to Southern California the summer Tommy turned 13. It was there that Tommy began playing sandlot ball, and let's just say he's always had a talent for the game. It was with that July 4th, 1976 catch that Tommy single-handedly won the All-City Championship. Unfortunately, shortly thereafter, Tommy's mother lost a courageous battle with cancer, and a local benefactor sent him to the legendary Baseball Academy St. Agnes Preparatory School. It was there that he coined his own nickname, Santa. His explanation? Simple. It was a gift for anyone to watch him play. The loss of his mother affected him deeply, and some see this as the reason for Tommy's lack of loyalty to the list of major league teams he's been a part of. Finishing his career where it started, in his hometown of Los Angeles, Tommy signed a three-year, multi-million dollar deal with the Dodgers. Though Tommy's numbers have been strong, the Dodgers have suffered their worst losing streak in years. Famed Dodger manager Benny Rodriguez explains. The problem is, guys like Tommy don't play for the love of the game. And that translates to the rest of the guys. If the top earner don't care, why should they? Now these kids, they play because they love playing. That's it. No, no money, no agents, no complaining. Just the pure love of the game. But ball players like them don't exist anymore. Heck, the old Sandlot doesn't even exist. But yeah. They got it. Now, I've known Tommy since he was a kid. We grew up in the same town and, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm older than him. But the uh, sad thing is, I could always tell. He never got it. What do I know? I'm just an old washed up manager now, anyhow. Let's get some dirt on those uniforms, huh? So what do you think went wrong today, Santa? Oh, what are you asking me for? I mean, I went three for four. Homered in the sixth, in case you didn't see that. Yeah, but you lost. No, sweetie, they lost. Did you just call me sweetie? Listen, I'm just trying to be friendly, sweetie. Look, if these guys want to play like a bunch of losers, there's nothing I can do to stop them, okay? So, Tommy, with this being your last season, you must be looking back on your career a little bit. Some say you're getting out before the hammer falls. What? Any regrets? Nope, none. Really? What about that tell-all book written by your ex fiance Judy Kroll? Sweetie. Tommy, come on. What do you have to say? Oh, it's a great day for baseball. Yep, and one of the last. I'll tell you what, boys, when Santa's gone, Party's over. You better cherish these days while they're here. He's in a talkative mood today. Yeah, probably because he's not under oath. Yo, 26, what gives? Uh, it's for the uh, July 4th fireworks next week. It's next week. What are they doing in my yard today? I don't know. That's just what I was told. You know, I've been coming here early for three years so this devil can have BP all to himself, and he doesn't even know my name. See yourself lucky. At least you're on a first number of bases with him. Right. Yeah, they want to see some fireworks? I'll show them some fireworks. They're working on that new pitch we talked about. What new pitch? It's called the strike. Santa takes that to the North Pole. All right. So, 
on the big night. When I say now, I want you to light it up right here, okay? Hey, Lou. You understand me, right? Yeah, 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 bud. I'm just watching out for incoming. Okay. You got a problem with your breaking stuff, kid. Yeah, what's that? It don't break. Excuse me? You're excused. Bring it. You understand me, right? On the big night. When I say now, I want you to light it up, okay? What, now? Now. Now? When I say now, Lou. Now? Lou, your head's like cement. Now is now, what do you right? mean now? Now. OK, now. <laughs> no, no, no. Not now, now. Pull it out. Pull it out. What do you mean, pull it out? Get the diet. Run! Ah! Something. Yeah, kick him. See if he's faking it. Kick him? What are you, nuts? Nuts? Good idea. Kicking the family jewels? Excellent fake breaker. Yeah, that should wake him up. Bad idea on many levels. As a medical procedure, I think kicking is way down on the list of any prescribed remedies. Got any better ideas, Q? Slap in the face? Fuck the water. That always works. My mom says you should always wake someone gently. Gently? How about seeking medical attention, doofus? The average ambulance takes four minutes to respond to the scene of an accident. Kicking the family jewels a lot faster. We're gonna get this guy some help. Wait, why are you in charge all of a sudden? Yeah, yeah why are you in charge? charge? Hey, I'm the tallest. What's that got to do with anything? I am smart. I think you mean shortest. I'm the biggest. I think you mean fattest. fattest. And I say we go with the kick. I'm the captain. What? What? Who made you captain, DP? The catcher is always the captain. You're not the captain. What about pitcher? Oh, guys, look, guys, he's waking up. You can still kick him before it's too late. Ask him a question that everyone knows. See if he's okay. Yeah, Good idea. He's smart. Yeah. Who's the greatest baseball player of all time? I am. Huh? What? what? Who are you? Tommy Santarelli. Well, I don't care for Steve Garvey. The yeah, answer's Babe Ruth. Whoa, the salt of the swat? The king of crash? The colossus of cloud? The home run king? A babe? The, the great Bambino! No, it's Santa! Santa? Santa. As in Claus? Can I kick him now? Go ahead. Back up, kids! Clear him! I'm trained for situations like this. Now, who started it? Stand back, boys. I'm going in. What's going on here? All right, kids, give him some air. What happened? He took a fly ball to the forehead. Sorry, Uncle Chops. Would have been a triple two if he hadn't screwed it up. In your dreams, fatty. Hey, 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 hey. Are we going to have a situation here? No. Because we don't want a situation, do we, huh? No. Good. What's your name, kid? Who are you calling kid? Tubbs. Is that any way to talk to an officer of the law? Where's my PDA? Your what? Your PDA? My Blackberry? Hey, that's mine, but it's not blackberry, strawberry, banana. Are you serious? I love strawberry, banana. Hey! I think he's that new kid who just moved on to Glenview Road. What are you talking about? I live in Beverly Hills. What's up with this kid crap? See, which one of you jacked my phone? I need to call my agent. Don't even think about autographs. Why would you want autograph. your, autograph. Point, your autograph? Loser. 1976. Bicentennial? What's going on? 
Yeah. We got a situation. Sleep, angel, sleep. Oh. Oh. Mm. Where am I? You're home, sweetheart. Oh, it can't be. I must be dreaming. Just relax. You'll feel better in the morning. Mom. It's really good to see you again. Oh, honey. I've missed you so much. Oh, honey. I'm right here. I like this dream. Well, hello there, sleepyhead. Well, where am I? You're home, sweetheart. No, 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 something's very wrong. Mom, am I dead? Why would you ask such a silly thing? Because I'm wearing my Speed Racer PJs that I haven't seen in 30 years. All right, fine, I got a little backed up on the laundry. There's still a lot of unpacking to do. Don't worry, your Batman and Robin ones haven't run off. Mom, do you know how old I am? 12, almost 13. No, I'm 41 years old. I live in Beverly Hills. I got a smoking hot girlfriend who's got her own reality show. I play center field for the Dodgers, and somehow I'm back here, and you're here, and the pancakes are not so real. I don't think I'm gonna throw up. All right, all right, take it easy. I thought you loved pancakes. I'll make you some eggs. No eggs. I do protein shakes, ginseng, spirulina, my lord, maybe you have a concussion and I let you sleep too long. I'm gonna call the doctor right now. Mom, put down the phone. I don't think I have a concussion. I just think I'm dead. <laughs> I bet this will bring you back to life. Give me a break. Has everyone gone nuts? Okay, uh, Tommy. Uh... Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Come on, Doc. Is it your job to tell me what's wrong? All right. Um, how's your memory? Well, I remember some things like they were real. Like my mom. And the house. And the kids from the Sandlot. But other things, they're kind of foggy. Like I'm watching TiVo. TiVo? You mean uh, TV? Uh, television? No, TiVo. Pausing real time, zapping commercials. Unless I'm in them. All right, Tommy, why don't you wait outside a minute while I talk to your mom, okay? I'd actually prefer to stay, Doc. See my trainers back at Dodger Stadium? They give me the skinny all the time. This is what I mean, Doctor. I don't know half the things he's talking about. Well, his, your retinas appear to be fine, and the heart rate is normal, other than a little, little bump on your noggin. I think that, boy, it's fine. Fine. You think I'm fine? Look at me. Look at this haircut. Look at these weak little biceps. How can you call any of this fine? Let's go, Mom. This guy's a quack. Tommy, you apologize this instant. No, no, that's okay. Actually, Tommy, I would like to have another word with your mother, though. Um, in private. Whatever. Ah, Sarah, I think Tommy's suffering from some sort of emotional stress, but um, he'll be fine. You are the one that I am concerned about. Me? I'm well, thank you. Well, I guess I'm strong enough for the chemo again. Mm. Then maybe we should pick up on the treatments where you left off before the move. That'd be fine, doctor. Now, if he starts acting up again, I'd show him some pictures of family and friends just to bring him back to reality, as it were. Well, maybe that's what he's fighting. Reality. That was surreal. I don't know about you, Mom, but I could sure use a drink. We could go get a soda. And this is your Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry? 
You remember your Uncle Henry, don't you, sweetheart? Mm, sure. I remember Uncle Henry. Cheap son of a... Who's this again? <laughs> that's you. And that's you at the lake. Oh, and there's you at Big Bear. And this is that day last summer. You remember when we went to that music festival with your cousin Jimmy? All right. Shame what happened to him, though. What happened to him? Did Margie call with some bad news? No. When Jimmy's band broke up in the early 90s, he got himself a job at Home Depot in Calabasas. What's Home Depot? Last I heard, he was assistant manager in hardware. <laughs> Divorced, up to his neck in alimony payments. Hmm. What? Little Jimmy's in the fourth grade and got all straight A's this past year, Tommy. Who's this again? Get that way. Guys, come on. What the heck is the problem? problem? Shut up, guys. Oh, shut guys. up. Tommy, some boys are here for you. Good, Good job. job. Oh, shut up. Hey, I'm DP's wing. Timber. Two ton. Yeah, I remember you guys. It's all coming back to me. Like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Anyway, we just wanted to see how you're feeling. <laughs> yeah, lucky it wasn't your eyeball. <laughs> well, I'm fine now. Thanks for stopping by, kids. See you around. What's with this constant kick crap? I'm really glad you're not gonna be playing on our team. What team? Our team! We play on the Sandlot. The Sandlot. Yeah, Sandlot. Needs another player. And only because the best ball player in the history of Sandlot is back, but not a clinic. Who said anything about me putting on a clinic? You? I'm talking about Benny. The Jet? Rodriguez. <laughs> that bum? Bum? He's got the best batting average on the Dodgers this year. Wait. He's here too? Benny's amazing, the man. best. Please. Benny only got as far as he did because he can run. Then his knee tanked him, he retired and became a coach. What's he talking about? Go with him, honey. The pressure will do you some good. But Ma! No buts, get out. I'm serious. Let me get my mitt. Fellas. Hey, Benny, it's pretty weird, right? I mean, it's like the Twilight Zone or something. Maybe you could tell me how we, uh, got here. You asking me how I got here? Same way these kids are gonna get there. Because they love to play ball. That's the key, kid. You look so... so... Yeah? Well, young. Really? Maybe I should be looking in the same mirror you're looking in, kid. No, I wouldn't really recommend that. <laughs> Come on, hotshot. Let's see what you got. You know what? 
I, I think I'm just gonna watch. Okay. Some all-star. All-star? <laughs> As in, I'll start later. Just full of it. I'll tell you, try to do a weirdo a favor and it just gets weirdoer. Yeah. Huh, really? All right, get ready, fellas. Here it comes. Let's go. Town? Not really. I'm Squint's Paladores. Baseball commissioner, right? Yeah, that's right. Go Wings! Go Wings! Go wings. <laughs> you know Wings McKay? Sure. You can never forget that kind of speed. <laughs> Kid's got no second gear, that's for sure. It's gonna catch up to him, though. Well, I don't think anyone can catch him. Except the cops. Hey, what? Move to second. Come on, Hugh. Just pick up the ball, Q. In a minute. That's Q. Short for IQ. <laughs> it's wicked smart. Not really that great an outfielder, though. I'm using the probability calculation of wind speed velocity versus the angle of the descent of the ball. Well, I'm going to descend upon your head if you don't pick up that ball and throw it in. Mm. Takes it all apart, breaks everything down to a science. Do you ever notice how the wind speed velocity changes when you speak two ton? Pick up the ball. Now! Oh, Guess it paid off. He's only one of the biggest brain surgeons. I mean, brains in the world. <laughs> you okay, kid? You might want to get out of the sun. It's not the sun. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, that's not good. Here, you give this card to your mom. Come in, I'll set you up with some quality shades. Speaking of the shade, come on, kid, follow me. What's up with this kid crap? Oh, nice, Timber. Go sing it. Catch. All right, here we go. Another. Wings go to first. Nice catch. The guy taking the mound. His name's Timber. The kid can throw some real heat. Yeah. But he can't pitch the batters, right? Yeah, left or right. Put anybody in the box, his arm turns into spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Just keep throwing him a little lower. You're doing good. Should have worn a batting helmet. You know, you sure do know a lot about these kids for a new kid. <laughs> what do you know about walk and roll? It's a little old school. Lately, I've been getting into some hip hop, some rap here and there. What? <laughs> Talking about Matt Walk Wakamoto and Rolando Roll Alvarez? Of course. Walk and roll. How could I forget those guys? You mean forget those guys? No, no, no. I mean, together they play great. Separate, they play awful. If you know so much about these guys, how come I don't know you? How come you're not playing? OK, guys, bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, guys, hustle. Let's go. Come on, go. OK, now, do any of you guys have the guts to hit off a real major leaguer? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no not, not me. me. No, I got to rest no, my no, arm. No, no, no. Uh, I'm the catcher. Right here, partner, right here. Guys, I got to see this. What's your name, kid? Tommy Santarelli. And I promise you this, you're not going to forget it, Benny. <laughs> What does this kid think he is, Hank Aaron? I like your confidence, kid. Now let's see what you got. This is like deja vu. What's like deja vu? This is like deja vu. What's like deja vu? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, now I'm just gonna go nice and easy on you at first, okay? You know what, Benny? That's always been your problem. You're too nice. Excuse me? You're excused. Oh. Now bring it. Okay. And Santa takes it to the North Pole. Nice shot, kid. All right, not a little more. You're gonna have to do better than that, Benny. And come on.
Yeah. I think his swing might be better than Hank Aaron's. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna give you a little more heat, okay? Please hit this. Don't worry about it. I'm a Santa, come on. No. Good pick, kid. Wait, your name is Ryan, right? Hey, what do you say? Where'd you learn to hit like that, kid? Stand down the likes of Randy Johnson, Roger Clemens. You learn fast, you die trying. Who are those guys? Must be. Seventh, Seventh graders. graders. Hey, with him on our team, we could enter the All City Championship. Enter? You guys could win it. Very high probability. Yeah. 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 Guys, who said anything about me playing on your team? I'm not gonna be here that long. Look at it this way. I showed you how it's done. That's my little gift to you guys. Hey, you don't call me to Santa for nothing. <laughs> Stupid Santa. And you got some talent, kid. There's a lot more to baseball than talent. Maybe you should have taken some of that advice in the 81 World Series. I like you, kid. You got quite the imagination. 81 World Series, huh? You guys uh, see that home run? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. You need to show us how. Squints, how's it going there, buddy? Like you really care? Just being polite. <laughs> DJ, all the way to the fence now. What are you doing here, Needman? Taking some measurements. Measurements? For what? Oh, didn't you hear? City's putting a sandlot up for sale. You can't sell the sandlot. Oh, yeah, they can. And I'm buying it. Excuse me? Face it, Squints. This whole field has run its course. Besides, there's no real talent over here nowadays anyway. Well, you didn't see what I just saw. Well, I know that I can fetch a nice price tag on some newly developed condos right where we're standing. Well, as long as I'm commissioner here, I don't see that happening. Yeah? Well, then clean your glasses. Because you got the future right here, and you don't even see it. Don't slack that off now. EJ, take it all the way out to the fence. So did you have fun playing today? It was a little below my league, but yeah, I think I did. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad. How was your day? Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling fine, sweetie. You're sweet for asking, though. Wow. I really missed our movie nights. What are you talking about? We haven't missed a movie night in months. Oh, I hope this movie isn't too scary for you. Young Frankenstein? It's funny every time I see it. Great! Now we gotta wait two hours to talk to him. Why do we need this kid on our team anyway? With him, we could have a real team. And maybe win the All-City Championship. Yeah. yeah! Who cares about those butt faces anyway? I care about kicking those butt faces' butts. You wasn't that far from auto. I took some calculations today. At the risk of sounding like a dweeb, if you don't count the pitch he didn't swing at, Tommy's batting average was 1,000. You are L7 weenies. <laughs> <laughs> You okay over there? Sometimes you gotta wait five minutes. Just relax and let it come out. What I do is I count backwards. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. That's it. I bet you feel better already. Oh, you okay, buddy? 
I should have known. There's only one stall. Yeah. What? 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 No, no, no. What? Uh, you're not going to rat on us, are you, Uncle Porkchop? Yeah, yeah, we're not here to see the movie or anything. No, oh. we just wanted to, to see the new kid. Yeah, yeah. he's their yeah. only yeah. shot at all city championship. Yeah. 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 Relax, boys. The big pork chop wasn't always a cop. Besides, it's my night off. Oh. Just as long as we don't have a situation here. We're not going to have a situation here, are we? No. Are you sure? Good. You wait here for my signal. Yes. Yes. Sure. Evening, pork chop. Hey, Casper. Uh, listen, can I get some popcorn, please? You bet. Thanks. Yeah, here you go. It's fresh. Oh, good. Good. Oh, uh, Did I'll, you? I'll, I'll take a little bit of butter on that, too. Oh, please. of course. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's topping, but. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, lovely. There you are. Thank you very yeah. much. Everything uh, okay? Listen you seem a bit edgy. No, I'm fine. I'm oh, fine. Okay. Just a uh, little parched. I could do with a, uh, if, uh, yeah. a Fanta, an orange Fanta, yeah. if you have one. Orange Fanta. Thanks. Here's a. Here you go. Thank you very much. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm feeling a little peckish, though. Don't I get worried. Listen, can I get some Juju Beats, too? Uh -huh. Juju Beats coming up. Thanks. Mm. Okay, that should just about do it, except now I need something sweet. Coopers. Is everything just, all right? Yeah, just a little athlete's foot. Don't open them. You're one of the good ones, Cassie. Okay. This movie gets funnier every time I see it. Scott, I got him. Hey, Tommy! Hey, Tommy, Mrs. Sanderley, how you guys doing? What are you guys doing here? Stop it! What? Tommy, why don't you take your friends outside so you can talk? Mom, I miss the part where the monster sings and dances. I love this part. What do you mean, the monster sings and dances? Nothing, I'll just go. It's my favorite part. Guys, nice, come on. Hi, Mrs. Santarelli. Look, fellas, I appreciate you asking me and everything, but the truth is, I have way too much going on in my life right now. Tommy, we wouldn't be here if we didn't need you. Truth is, you're not exactly what one would call good. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. Hey, Tommy, I'm only going to ask you this once, so I want you to be completely honest with me, OK? Mm-hmm. Can you spot me 25 cents for some goobers? <sighs> Jesus. Are you serious? Time. I only have a nickel. My guess is you guys don't have any tickets. What do you got to say for yourself? We're with him. Kill the monster! Kill the monster? Kill the monster! I see ya. We want to be here. Smell ya. She didn't have to tell ya. Bye-bye. Adios. I'm calling the cops. Hey, come back here. Officer Porkchop, the meeting. Hey, I see your faces. Now. Where are your parents? Hey, I'm here. Job. Help here. Come on, come on. Excuse me. Come on. 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 Why aren't you right there? Hey, Usher guy, I found my tickets. There's only two. What about all the other guys? What other guys? Hey! Ooh, one chocolate shake going up. Why, hello there, sweetie. <laughs> Who are you calling sweetie, Junior? Just trying to be friendly, that's all. 
All right, little lady killer, why don't you lean back and tell me what you want? How about a coffee? A coffee? At your age? Crack me up, kid. Here's a cherry Coke. Kids these days want to grow up so fast. What? Look, I'm not gonna play. There's just too much going on in my life right now. You just want to understand. Hit me again. All right, look. I might as well tell you, it's not like you're gonna go tell anybody, right? Thanks. I'm not really supposed to be here. I was transported back here from the future. I'm really a superstar. Last season, I had a 328 for the Dodgers. I was on a box of Wheaties. I'm gonna be elected into the Hall of Fame. Chicks dig me, men wanna be me. That's my real life, not this place. I don't know if this is a dream or second chance or, or what. I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as it lasts because of one reason and one reason only. My mom's here. I'm gonna spend as much time with her as possible. I know you understand. Hey, Ryan. Thanks for listening, buddy. That boy's mute. Yeah, I know. What happened there? He hasn't spoken a word since his father died four years ago. Whoa. How much do I owe you? It's on the house. Get out of here. By the way, this fall, Jimmy Carter wins. What? Cat cut your tongue? More like Cat got his brain. <laughs> Teach us punk a lesson, boys. <laughs> hey, why don't you leave the kid alone? Yeah? Why don't you mind your own business? Man, I forgot how much of a chump you were, EJ. How do you know my name? Because no one forgets a town bully. You got a big map. You know that? Hey, you're that new kid. The one that everyone says is the best baseball player in town. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the new kid that's asking you politely to let the kid go on his way. And if we don't? Do you really want to find out? You're our number. Seven to one. Yeah, and the odds aren't exactly in your favor. Everything cool over here? Saved by the cavalry. I don't need them to take you on, EJ. You'll need anything you can get your hands on. Santa Smelly. Okay, look. I'm not gonna get into this sophomore name-calling contest with a kid. Frankly, it's beneath me. Or maybe it's because you're a lameoid loser with pimple breath. That's an intelligent comeback. Got any more, Einstein? Or is that all your pea brain is capable of? Oh, pea brain, that's a really good one, man. Nice one. You're going to get away with that, EJ? You know, you should spend more time working on your baseball practice than your weak insults. Insulting you isn't work. Oh, yeah? It comes pretty easy. Dog face. Turd mouth. Rotten face bonehead. Ignorant, pathetic, sociopath in training. I have no idea what that means, but it sounded good, guys. Yeah. yeah. At least my girlfriend doesn't wear a collar. I heard your girlfriend got kicked out of an ugly contest because they said no professionals allowed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Now, is it true that your mother smacked the doctor when you were born? Ha, don't, don't. Oh, speaking of mothers, do you guys need another player? Because my mom plays ball pretty good, and she's better than all you fools. Oh, yeah. All you yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. guys. Sorry, sorry, what was that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can't, I can't hear you. I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, at least my mom's not sick. You ever say something like that again, I will ruin you. Oh, yeah? Don't mess with me on this, EJ. I'll go Tarantino on you so fast. You won't know what hit you. Tara, what? I think that's some kind of martial arts. In 
moron terms, he means I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you real bad. You got that? You, weirdo. Next time, be a man. Fight your own battles. Let's go, guys. Can't beat it. Good Get out of here. We don't like it here. You okay, man? Do we get to play him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure do. I'm in. Yeah! Hey mom, I was thinking about joining a team with those kids from the movie the other night. That's if you're feeling okay. Are you down with that? Honey, I'm feeling fine. And why would you possibly think I'd be down with it? I'm definitely up with it. Cool. Groovy. If you wanted a ride, mm -hmm. throw a two-seam, okay? Two-seam? Oh, come on, Timber, let's go. Two-seam. Right down the middle! DP, you're such a wimp. Get in the game. What are you whining about? Why don't you come and play catcher? That's where you belong, anyhow. Just because I'm husky doesn't mean I have to play catcher. Two Chen. What? You're not husky. See, you're fat. That's it. <laughs> Get that the walk and roll. Right here, right now. Come here. Whoa. Let's go. Run. Oh, get Guys, get can we play some baseball? Is practice always like this? No. Sometimes Two Chen chases somebody else. Come on, Denver. Just pretend like I'm not here, okay? Bad enough, guys. Let's go. Two seam again? Two seam. All right. See Just try to hit my bat, okay? Will you walk with me? All right. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Sorry. Shitty. Uh, wrong bat, Timber. Uh. Guys, look at this. Uh. What are we going to do about Timber's control problems? Mm. I bet Wings has got some good ideas. Give it if I live. You're dead. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting the cup. <laughs> hey, Two Chan. What do you want? I got a Hertz donut. You want one? Donut? Sure. Okay. Ow! Hertz, Hertz donut. donut. Oh, oh. You know something? You guys are better than I remember. And with a little help from me, I think I can hammer you guys into a winning team. However can we pay you your holiness of baseball? Look, all we wanted you to do was play with us, because you're real good. We didn't ask you to coach or anything. Squids coaches the games, and Benny comes by when he can. We just needed another player. How often can Benny come by? His team's hanging on by a thread. And with me gone, he's got nobody to work with. What you talking about? I heard Benny the Jet hurt his knee in Cincinnati last night. I heard it's pretty serious. Uncle Chops said he was going to be out for six weeks. Hey, no one, Benny. He'll be playing in two. That knee's always trouble. Yeah, in 96, he got that replaced, and it ended his car car 19, career. Career? 1996. Got to go. Who replaced his knee? But if we are going to be a real team, we're going to need some equipment. Bats, balls, a new glove for wings, and some pads for DP. The last thing I want to be is a coach. I just figure that if we're going to play, we should play like pros and play to win. See ya. Please, people, Mr. Needman still has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I know most of you have a sentimental attachment to that old sandlot. Heck, I even used to play ball there myself back in the day. The truth of the matter is, that old sand line is sitting smack dab in the middle of some very profitable land for this town. Now, I am not going to stand up here and lie to you fine people and tell you that I'm not in this to make a buck, because I am and I sure will. The fact remains, this town has seen some hard times lately, and we could use this. Now, if this council votes to allow me to build, the condominiums I'm proposing will bring nice, affordable housing, more jobs, and more pride. Now, let's be honest, who couldn't use a little of that nowadays? 
I can't believe this. Come on, folks. The only thing that Earl Needman has ever cared about is fattening his wallet. That's right. Now, if we vote to let him do this now, we're losing something more important than any of us can imagine. And what would that be, Mr. Palladors? Our history. Yeah. And our future. How many of you people grew up playing ball in that old field? And how many of you are willing to take that opportunity away from your kids? This man is, unless we stop him now. Well, it uh, seems we all have a, a lot to consider. Um, we'll reconvene the next on um, July the 2nd. And we'll decide on this matter then. Huh? Meeting adjourned. Keep it on the chair. People, this is the chance of a lifetime. Chance of a lifetime. People. That's me. Lou! That's jump change. Coming back with the real deal. I got shoes that cost more than that. New York Yankees. The big apple, baby! Oh. New York. But Tommy, I took my residency here. Babe? What's <laughs> New York Yankees? That's 3,000 miles away. Tommy is a money machine. The owners, they want to buy him. Okay? The fans, they want to pay to see him. He is what baseball should be. Caps, t-shirts, memorabilia, cash, just for signing your name. They have these things called bobblehead dolls now. All right? It's payday, and New York is the ticket. It's the way it was, the way it always will be. Yankees! Yankees! They are making me the offer of a lifetime. I thought that's what I was doing. Can you hear that? Not now. Tommy, this is us we're talking about. Baby, I love you. Judy, no! You're not gonna get another chance. Tommy, wake up. Tommy, you're gonna miss a chance of a lifetime. Come on, open it. We're going to get that equipment you talked about. In the middle of the night, what's open? Old man Myrtle's house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like breaking and entering. The place is abandoned. Except for the treasure. Take my advice. You want to stay on the right side of the law? <laughs> Told you would go. Come on. Let pretty boy here get his beauty sleep. Go oh, now, Tommy. You're not going to get a second chance at this. Hold on. I'll come. Somebody please tell me why we didn't go over the back fence. Because pushing his fat butt over could get real stinky. So I heard that Mr. Myrtle's once a great baseball player. Until he went blind after getting hit with a baseball in the head. Legend has it that he has a secret stash of old baseball stuff. So whatever happened to Mr. Myrtle? Some say he just died. Others say he up and vanished. Hit in the head with a baseball? Vanished? If we're gonna do this, let's do it. What about the ghost? Right, come on. Let's go. All right. Move, move, move! Shut up, DP! And move your butts! Hey, check it out. Hercules? Who names their dog Hercules? It was probably just some chihuahua or something. You know how people name their dog just the opposite of what they are. That must have been a grande chihuahua, man. I'm out of here. Oh, come on. Don't be such a wuss. I thought we were a team. All right, then. Go ahead. You're up. I say we send in one of the little guys. Kind of like a scout. Since when does the shortest guy have to go first? When the taller guys tell him to. Speaking of short guys, where's Ryan? Yeah, where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? He's here. He's here. <laughs> Get 
sexy move, kid. Pretty impressive. You guys check this floor. I'll check upstairs. That's a big baseball. <laughs> so funny, you idiot! Whoa, that's a big baseball. was something really important, where would I be? Let's go, guys. There's nothing down there. Except for bats. Baseball bats? No. no. Bats, bats. Huh? Nothing here either. Yeah. This place is a bust. Hey, up there, let's beat it! Come on, go! Let's go. Come on, guys. guess would be a hole. This is treasure, all right. Why leave it in such an obvious place? I've got a bad feeling about this, guys. What should we do?
all? Of course. Then I think we got everything. We do now. This is the real treasure. Whoa. Yeah, it's signed by all the 63 Dodgers. Colfax, Drysdale, oh. oh. Tommy Davis. Man. The whole team. I say we sell it. That's loco. How are you loco? Imagine what you can get for this on eBay. What, what eBay? Nothing. I don't ever think we should sell this ball, guys. I mean, it's why we found it. Old man Myrtle's trying to tell us something. I think he's right, guys. Yeah. So what do you say? Deal? Deal. 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 Yeah. Our lucky charm. Our championship. On three, guys. One, two, three, seven! Yeah! Now, see, time and time again, teams are playing up to their full potential. Time and time again? I've been around, Wings. Now listen, the thing of it is, you guys could be good. You guys got the stuff. We're gonna have to work on some basics. Play heads up ball. Work together as a team. All right? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Now just remember, baseball's more than just talent. Benny? Benny! Benny. 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 What's up, man? Hey! Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, it's okay. Figured instead of laying around the house, I'd come out and see how the old Sandlot gang was doing, right? Yeah! Awesome! What about you, Santorelli? Seems like you've had a change of heart since a few days ago. I seen some things, that's all. Yeah? Well, I'm glad. What do you say you take center field, then shag some fly balls? I mean, that is if there's room for more than one coach on this team. <laughs> <laughs> I say that's... Buffinato! Yeah! yeah! Here, let me take those for you. Uh, thanks, DP. Thanks, Benny. Right here, Benny. Right here, Benny. Right here, Benny. All right, let's turn two. In the summertime, when the weather is hot, you can just ride up and turn the sky. When the weather's right, you got women, you got two. women on your mind. Hit the cutoff. Have a drink, have a drive. Go out and see what you can find. Plan. We're always happy, lots of living here, this have a lot of pain. Okay, try it again. DP, give me a target. Ear, chin, ear, chin. Slap, slap, slap. Good job, guys. Good. All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, what do you say, Santorelli? Think these guys are ready for the city tournament? Yeah. I think they can bring it. Bring, bring it? What? What are we supposed to bring? Home. Bring it home to the sand lot. Oh! Yay! Not so fast, guys. Squids! They can't be a real team without... Uniforms! Whoa! Squids, like you look perfect. Whoa. Far out. Oh, just like you. Nice. Here you go, kid. All right. Come on, guys. Pick a number. Whoa. I got that guy. Welcome one and all to the Valley Little League Baseball Tournament. Yes, where all teams are invited, but only one team gets to take home this here trophy. 
So, let's get to it. Play ball. Centerelli kid, he ain't bad. He ain't bad. Kid's the best thing to happen to the Sandlot since paid Penny Cocker the Beast. Make way for Tuta. Alright, Tuta! Big on the Let's go! Keep this up, we'll be playing even this team in the championships. Well, Tommy, I think we might actually have a shot. <laughs> All right, fellas, good game. Get in the dugout. Batting order. Let's go. Hey, Chuck. Any inside word on the city council vote? Oh, yeah. Split straight down the center every time. It's going to take to get this thing behind us. Sweetheart, honey, we have a visitor. Mr. Neiman came by and has something very important to talk to you about. I saw you play today. You got a lot of potential. If you're on the right team. Neiman. Chairman, have we come to a decision? Sadly, we have not. The vote was a dead tie every time we took it. Which brings us to a crossroads, I'm afraid. We'll have to push this back to the next quarter. What? You can't do that! Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute now. We have to act on this now. I'm open to suggestions. Why don't you just give it to my dad? He deserves it! So shut up. Well, Mr. Chairman, if I may, I think I have a solution that would be the fairest way to settle this matter. I'd love to hear it. Well, I'm not one to believe in miracles, but it appears Mr. Palidorus' Sandlot team is playing my team in the All-Valley Championship Baseball Tournament. Yes, we're all proud of our Sandlot boys. I propose a challenge. If my team wins, we get to build and develop on the Sandlot. Mr. Palladores' team wins. The Sandlot stays. I'm in for that. Woo! You're here. All right. We have no objections if Mr. Palladores will honor the challenge. Do it, Squints. The kids are playing great ball, and with Santarelli in center field, we can't be beat. Let's 
All right, Mr. Chairman, we accept the challenge <laughs> on one condition. The game for the Sandlot is played on the Sandlot. So you see, guys, I have no choice. I have to play for Needman. I made the over-the-wall catch in the bottom of the ninth to win the All-City Championship. And Neiman had the St. Agnes coach cover that game, and he saw the whole thing. So you see, it's because of that catch I got into St. Agnes prep. Because of my years in St. Agnes, I got scouted and drafted in the first place. So I have to do it. I've got no other choice here. Plus, my mom thinks it's the best thing for me. I can't risk my whole future for the Sandlot, can I? Maybe you're the one who shouldn't speak for a while. You can talk? Hey, wait! Ryan! Hold on a sec! Ryan! Hey, why did you do that? You play with us. Teach us all this great stuff about baseball. Being a team, playing together. Can I get up and leave us? But I have to. You don't have to do nothing. You're a croc, man. We looked up to you. You made us feel for the game, and it showed. We thought we were showing you something, too. Yeah? What's that? Friendship, dummy. things over there in Loserville, but here, we have a way of doing things. We hit the cutoff, man. Do you understand me? Just let me do what I have to do. Leave me alone, EJ. Something wrong, Santorelli? I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, well, at the big championship game, I'm gonna need you more than just here, you understand? A lot of people counting on you, boy. I'll be fine. For your sake, I hope so. And the rest of you guys, you all gotta work harder. I bet that other team is busting their butts trying to get ready for this game. Whoa. No way! Seven jawbreakers, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, good job, Tutan. He's gonna pop, guys! Oh. 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 oh! You gotta lay off the jawbreakers, what? man. You gotta put some of these eye out. Hey, guys, shouldn't we be practicing for the big game? Give me some more. I'm going for eight. <laughs> yeah, beat your own record. Go. <laughs> put him in. Oh, go, go, go. Hey, sorry I'm late, buddy. Oh, Benny, you didn't have to come help. She must have more important things to do. Come on, what's more important than this? That's good. Both gang would be proud. Hey, did you hear Ham's wrestling at the state fair next month? Old Hambino's still at it, huh? <laughs> I'm sure need it. Uh, Doc says I'll probably be out for the rest of the season. I'm sorry, Benny. Hey, don't be. I'll be all right. Nothing like it, though, huh? Coming out to the old ball field, spending the summer with your friends, playing the sport you love. Yeah. Playing in the majors must be really great, huh? I was talking about you guys. Friendship, dummy. So how's Wendy? Great. Yeah, how many kids you got now? Oh, four. Bet they're keeping you busy. I don't know if I should go. Why not? Because I need to be here with you. Hey, come here. I'm so grateful. 
grateful to have such a wonderful son. When you go play the game you love, I'll be here when you get back. Good things happen to good people, Tommy. I'll come home as soon as the game's over. I promise. I love you, Mom. This place is a disaster. This place is a gift. What do you mean? How would that measure this dump? We cream the ball. Even you could hit a home run. Go, guys, come on, get in there. Yeah. Hustle up. So what are we gonna do today? Win. Win. That's right. And I'm gonna bulldoze this place first thing in the morning. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Better than a doubleheader on Sundays. What do you got for me today, though? I'll get something good for you today. I hope it's better than that hair. Yeah. <laughs> EJ, come on over here. You remember EJ? Oh, absolutely. EJ, how you doing? I, how could I forget? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. But how about that Santorelli kid I've been hearing about? I, you've been telling me a lot about him. I want to see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tommy, come on over here. I got somebody for you to meet. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? Hey. Heard a lot about you, man. I've come out here to watch you play. I want to see what you can do. Yeah. yeah. And EJ here, he's been, I've been practicing. Yeah, I've practicing. heard a lot about you, too. OK, well, I'm going to warm up. All right, Tommy. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice All right, EJ. All right. Yeah. I won't, I won't I, be disappointed. Yeah, I, I hope not. No, EJ, he's, he's been improving, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has great coaching. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Welcome to the Valley Little League Tournament Championship game. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for our national anthem? Man, we are so dead. Not only did we lose, Tommy, but we're minus a player. All right, guys, listen up. I got something to say. What? Did Ryan just speak? I've been around you guys for a long time. The one thing I know is that Benny's right. You guys love baseball. You eat, drink, and sleep baseball. But nothing compares to playing it. If we give up now, well, you can say goodbye to the sound of forever. But you Zip don't... it, Tubby. It's my turn to talk. Tommy taught us a lot about baseball skills. Instead of being mad at him, let's show him exactly what he failed to learn from us, how to play the game we love. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to lose this field to a bunch of butt faces. The mouth on that kid. So what are we going to do today, boys? Go ahead. That's right. All right, guys, what he said. Everybody in. Yeah! One, two, One, two three, three, sell us! I need to talk to you, Neiman. Hey, isn't that that Santorelli kid? I thought he was on the Sandlot team. It ain't over till the fat lady sinks. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Take your position, Santorelli. You can tell me after the game. But I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Keep the cap on you. Are you deaf, son? Move it. Now! Santorelli. What is he doing? Where are you going? I told you your position. Wait. What do you do, boy? Son, you do not want to do this. What do you want? I want to win. Yeah, so do we. Get lost, 
call me. Yeah, but Moose, we didn't need you. Look, I made a mistake. Sorry. What are you saying? I made a deal to play for Neiman's team. Because I thought it was my destiny. This isn't the part where you go off about the Dodgers, the Hall of Fame, and your smoking hot girlfriends, is it? No. This is the part where I throw that all away to do what's right, to play ball with my friends. That's if you'll have me. Look, I would rather lose a game with my real team than win one for all the wrong reasons. You made a bad mistake. We're not gonna lose. Well, take off that ridiculous uniform and get ready to bat. Thanks, Tommy. Haha, <laughs> son, you had me going there. <laughs> what are you doing? Now, that is not the right decision to make there, boy. Hey, Earl. I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, good thing I didn't throw this away. Great to have you back, Tommy. Yeah. 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 Son, you can kiss St. Agnes goodbye. Yeah, and that's all the half of it. We're gonna play ball or what? Yeah! yeah. Let's play yeah. ball. Yeah. All right, let's go. Him, son. But Dad, do what I say. Hey, Needman, you really gonna put the tie run in scoring position? Hey, Rodriguez, you coach your team and I'll coach mine. All right? But Dad, I mean, coach, I can take this guy. Time. I can get him out. Son, it is too risky. Look, I got him down. This punk ain't at the outside pitch. I promise you, he's all mine. No, EJ. You always said an even never backs down from the fight. Yeah? Well, I'm not backing down. 
All right. But if you're wrong, your new 10-speed bike is going into wood chipper. You understand me? Two words, wood chipper. Come on, boy. Don't worry about it, Tommy. Just where you want them. You're out of here. So is this next pitch. That's ours forever. One more thing. We're gonna use this ball, this inning, for lock. Remember? Okay. On three. One, One two, two, three. three. Let's go! Batter, you got some sup on your ship. What sup? Oh, I, I I don't know. What's up with you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What? I was gonna hit a homer. Get out of my way. You were supposed to walk. Oh, you in the wild one The Sandlot lives. You and EJ. Not number one for nothing. Like father, like son. Out of my way, George. Hey, what's that I smell? Oh, it's just Mean Men. All right, Timber. It's okay, Timber. Timber, give him the heat. Let's go, Timber. Time's a waste. Just throw it right in there. Come on, Timber, bring him the heat.
not going to have a situation here, are we, Earl? Because uh, we don't want a situation. Yes, Sandlot! Yeah, all right! Yeah. 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 You were right about that Santorelli kid. He's going to be an all-star. What about that deal with my son? He's quite the athlete, huh? I'm not looking for athletes, Earl. I'm looking for ball players, And I just found one. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys! It's been the best game of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. But I gotta go. What? what? We just won the big game. At least stick around for the fireworks and the trophy ceremony. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Mommy, I'm sorry. I gotta go see my mom. Benny's got something to say to you. Oh, yeah. Um, I think there's something over there that belongs to you guys. ceremony in the fireworks. Who cares? This belongs to you. I think he's waking up, Doctor. Welcome back. What happened? Where am I? You're at Cedar Sinai, Tommy. When I uh, heard you took a pitch to the head in practice, I raced right over here to check in on you. Q? No one's called me that in years. Oh, I had the strangest dream. Hey, he's awake, everyone. Well, who's here? Are you kidding? More like who isn't. Hey, there's my boy. Penny, what are you doing here? What, a manager can't visit his favorite player? His favorite what? Yeah, you know, the guys have been here almost every day. You know, just checking in. They were really worried about their captain. Captain? How could you scare me like that, you silly man? Judy? I'm glad to see you recognize your own wife. I... I missed you so much. I'm sorry that I ever left you. What are you talking about? You know, when, when I went to New York to play for the Yankees, Hey, pal, you never played for the Yankees. You've been a Dodger your whole career. Hey, you may be a little groggy, but don't worry, you'll be fine. Remember, honey, you chose to stay with me in L.A. I did? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Heather, Oliver, Daddy's away. Daddy, Daddy, you're awake. Oh, kids. Looks like this old ball still has some luck in her yet, huh, buddy? Ryan? Do you realize how many calls we get every day asking about you? Calls? Yeah, on my sports radio show. <laughs> hey, some of the guys want to come in and say hi. Good things to good people. Tommy Santorelli, 14 time All Star, three time World Series champion, MVP of two of them. 
But uh, that's not the only reason he's going straight to Cooperstown. Tommy could be the most loved player, teammate, and leader the game's ever seen. Having played his entire career for the Dodgers, Tommy turned down big money offers from other teams over the years. But the thing he treasures most to this day is saving the Sandlot.